Chipati Moon by Pippa Goodhart, illustrated by Lizzie Finlay. Mrs Kapoor was hungry, so she decided to cook up a feast. She chopped chilies and garlic and onions and tomatoes. She cut up aubergines and cauliflower, potatoes and carrots. She pounded spices and she tore coriander. She podded peas and wilted spinach. She scooped yoghurt and poured coconut milk. Mrs Kapoor heated pans and melted ghee. She sizzled and stirred and simmered and sprinkled. To make dosas, masalas, pakoras, samosas and chutneys. All steaming and creaming and bubbling and smelling. Mmm, wonderful, said Mrs Kapoor. She put the food into pots and onto plates with spoons and pickle prongs and a pile of napkins all onto her hostess trolley. Then Mrs Kapoor made chapatis. She mixed flour and water and shaped the dough into a ball. She rolled a chapati flat and round. Then she put it into a big hot pan where it began to puff and crisp and turn wonderfully golden. Perfect! said Mrs Kapoor. But as she took the chapati out of the pan, Mrs Kapoor jumped with surprise, tossing the chapati onto the floor where it rolled over and over and out of the door. Come back, chapati, shouted Mrs Kapoor. She chased the chapati and so did some more. The chapati went rolling off down the road. I'm going to catch it, said Mrs Kapoor. She tried to snatch it, but a boy, thinking it was a ball, kicked the chapati over a wall where a quick girl caught it and threw it to a man who said, That's not a frisbee. Then both of them ran after the chapati, which came down to land in the marketplace where it went bouncing and tripping and jumping and slipping and bumping and tipping and spinning. Mrs Kapoor was about to catch it when a goat (laughs) gave a butt that biffed it down the hill. It was racing away again until... I'll ride my trolley, said Mrs Kapoor, and off she went over lumps and bumps, lumpety bumpety rattle and roll. She was catching up with the chapati at last when a donkey he hawed and gave a great big kick. Up rose the chapati into the sky where it glowed like a luminous lantern or a chapati moon, said Mrs Kapoor. Let's all share a moonlit picnic. So, in the creamy cool light of the chapati moon... They danced and laughed and ate and soon they slumped into slumber. All except for our very good friend Mrs Kapoor who was still awake and still hungry until she saw her chapati moon slip sliding down the sky. She held out her hands and she caught it. I shall eat the moon, said Mrs Kapoor. It was just enough. She wanted no more and it did taste wonderfully moony. Good night, good night, Mrs Kapoor.